Night one is Austin Theory versus John Cena in the opener. We don't officially know what the main event is, and for all I know, they may decide the day of the show. But it's, uh, I mean, you've got both the Rhea Ripley Charlotte Flair match and the Usos against Kevin and Sammy both on night one. And as I've said before, I think that you should end with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. It's the bigger match. It's been built up far longer. It's 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 a far bigger draw than Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair. That's nothing against them. I think if you asked them, you know, I'm sure they'd say they want to go on last, but I don't think they're going to tell you that the Sammy and Kevin Owens and Usos and Bloodline story, eh, it's not that big a deal. It's a big one. We also have Becky, Lita, and Trish versus Bailey, Dakota, and Io. Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. Rey Mysterio versus Dominic. Braun, Ricochet, Street Profits, Gable and Otis, and the Viking Raiders four-way. A WrestleMania showcase match. So that is night one. Night two has Roman and Cody. Bianca versus Asuka. Gunther against Drew McIntyre and Sheamus in a triple threat. Edge versus Finn Balor. In uh, Brood versus the Demon, I would presume. Brock Lesnar and Omos and the Women's Showcase with Liv and Raquel, Natty and Shotzi, Ronda Rousey and Shayna, Ronda with her broken arm, and Sonya and Chelsea Green. So that's the two nights of Mania. Well, you know, they treat it like concerts now. You know, Bruce Springsteen is coming to your town for three nights, and he's got so many songs and such a catalog you're not going to get the same stuff each night. You may get one song or a couple of songs for both nights, but, you know, that that's how it goes. And looking at this, night two, much stronger, I think, overall on paper, at least to me it is. But I echo your sentiments, and I think we're all in the majority on this. I think most of, of wrestling you know, fans are in the majority on the fact that how do you not close with Kevin and Sammy against the Usos? Again, unless you're going to do something that's going to impact the next night later, you know, after the main event or so, at some other point, which I think is ridiculous at this point, just let it go. To me, that's got to close the show. It's not only that, but listen, everybody, and I've had a few people say, well, you know, the Royal Rumble winner is guaranteed the main event of WrestleMania. Do they say that? Or do they say the winner of the Royal Rumble is guaranteed a title match at WrestleMania? Because that's what it should be. Because the other way to look at this is, if it's me, if I'm if I'm Rhea Ripley or Charlotte, I mean I don't know. If you, if you really got a big ego, you wanna you wanna finish or whatever, close the show. But but to me, it's like you know that the fans are going to unleash an extraordinary amount of energy. In that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Usos match, you want to follow that? Yeah, I really. mean, yeah. They, I guess they can put on like some something with Snoop and the Miz or whatever, because they're going to do something with Snoop and the Miz. You can do a buffer or whatever. You bring him down but, with the men's tag. I mean, you know, you can do this bring him down thing and everything like that. But I, I would not want that match to go on earlier and then have to main event the show because you just know you're not going to get that reaction. What is everyone's favorite sandwich? So I was at a shindig last night. There was a grilled cheese sandwich truck there. The, hmm. the cheese pit. It was ham, pepper jack cheese, and sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And I had them add jalapenos. Instead of the barbecue sauce, they had their own uh, garlic honey mustard. I had that on there instead. These are both excellent choices. That sandwich was pretty goddamn great. There are still a Quiznos in the area. I keep meaning to go visit one. The pizza sub at Subway. It's not on the menu anymore. But you get the, like, the spicy Italian and have them add the marinara sauce and the meatballs. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni, green, green pepper, onions, and you leap mushrooms. To answer this question, man. I'm, I'm you leap. strongly opinionated on this one. What is your favorite type of sausage? Munchen House in Leavenworth, Washington. The Big yes, Bob Bratwurst. One third pound pork seasoned with a mild spice blend. Sweet and sour mustard on there. Your sweet relish and onions. That's, that's a meal right there. So he presents his doctor's note, which is literally just the words, he's sick, written on a Wingstop receipt. I don't know if they sell the Thigh Bites or not, but those are so good. The thigh Bites at Wingstop are awesome. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.